Well, right now our Vegetables Around the World garden is really starting to produce a lot of vegetables. And one of them that we're harvesting fairly often right now are our yard-long beans. Now these are also known as asparagus beans and they're used a lot in Asian cooking. Now these are different than the fava beans that we harvested earlier. If you'll remember I told you the fava beans are much like peas and they like a long cool season. Well our asparagus beans like a very hot season and so they kind of sat there and now that it's hot they've taken off and we're getting a lot of bean production. Well you'll notice here like the name says, we've got some very long beans here. Now they can get to be three feet long, but if you wait until they're that long, then you don't get a good bean. It's a little fibrous. Like this one here is getting a little bit too long, and the bean development in the pod is already starting to show. And so this bean is actually past its prime. It's probably going to be fibrous. But over here, We've got some beans that are actually just right. Here we've got them, they're about a foot to a foot and a half long. And when you pick these, they'll be nice and tender and ready to use in a stir fry. They're very good um, when they're fried. That's their maximum flavor and texture. Now up here I've got a bean that I could go ahead and harvest it because it is small and you can't harvest them too young except that you lose some production so you probably want to leave this on for a little bit it wouldn't hurt to harvest it but for maximum production leave them on there a little bit longer now one thing i would like to mention we planted our beans here on our trellis and we've since found out that we needed a few more strings in between here because you'll notice down here at the bottom a lot of our beans are down here and they would climb on up if we had more strings so we could probably add some more strings now and that would help with our trellis situation here. Well we've got several squash that are ready to harvest and let's go take a look at those. One of the fun plants that we have this year is our Zucchetti Rampicante, or Italian trombone squash. Now this is an Italian heirloom variety of squash, and actually it is squash vine borer resistant, so we shouldn't have a problem with squash vine borers on this plant. But the really neat thing about this squash is the actual squash. And if we look down here, We've got several in different stages. And first off, we've got a very young squash. Right here, it's just now forming. And you'll notice how it has a very rounded base and then this long neck on it. Now here we've got one that is a little bit more mature, but still not quite ready to harvest. But this squash right here, is perfect for harvest. Now these are very similar to zucchini, but you'll notice they have this nice kind of a lime green color and they have a very nice consistency when cooked. They don't tend to get watery like a zucchini does and they have a nice flavor that is somewhat uh, similar to an artichoke. Now I'll just harvest this and actually the best time to harvest these is when they're about a foot and a half long. Um, but this has really been a fun squash for us. It's just kind of a conversation piece, and it's also very good to eat. Now, in addition to the vegetables that we've been harvesting, we've got some shallots that are not quite ready to harvest yet, but will be soon. So let's take a look at those. our shallots aren't quite ready to harvest yet and the way that you know when to harvest these is that the foliage will turn brown which they've started turning brown and it will fall over now once the foliage falls over we can lift these with a spading fork and set them out on a screen or something like that in a place where they've got good air circulation and preferably in a shady spot where they're going to stay dry and let those cure very well before you go ahead and store them. Now if you let them cure, they'll store for you quite well. Now a shallot 
is basically somewhere between an onion and a garlic in flavor. It's, it's milder than an onion, and they're very handy to use in cooking because they're small and they store so well. So we'll be harvesting our shallots probably in the next two to three weeks as soon as this foliage goes ahead and falls over. Well, we have one more plant that I'd like to show you, and it isn't near ready to harvest yet, but it is a very striking plant in the vegetable garden. And let's go take a look at it. Well, the last vegetable that I wanted to show you has been getting a lot of comments from visitors to our studio gardens, and that's this great big plant here called cardoon. Well, when you first look at it, it looks very much like a thistle, and that's because it is. Now, cardoon is related to an artichoke, but where an artichoke, you harvest the bud on the top, we're going to be harvesting the stem. Now, along about September, we'll have a stem coming up, and what we'll want to do is to take these large leaves and bring them up around that stem and then tie them together so that we can blanch it. Then a few weeks later, we'll untie them and we'll harvest the stem in the middle. Well, we're not quite sure how this is going to do here because cardoon, like artichokes, like a very long, cool season. But so far, it's grown very well for us. And even though we may not get a stem to eat, We've really enjoyed the wonderful foliage on this. This makes a great architectural plant. And anybody that comes into the gardens asks, what is that plant? So we've really enjoyed it so far. Well, we've showed you a lot of the vegetables that we're harvesting right now. But believe it or not, it's time to th start thinking about your fall vegetable garden. From the middle of July to the end, you can plant pole beans, winter squash, pumpkins, you can also be planting your summer squash, and you can actually plant those from July 15th through the end of August. So if you didn't get your vegetables in for that spring garden, you don't have to worry because you can get them in now for your fall garden. Well, we've been talking a lot about vegetables, but we've also been harvesting a lot of berries out here at the studio grounds. And Barbara is going to show us a great sauce to put over some of those berries for a cool treat. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.